Let's have a look at the Gaja Brera, a really nice semi-automatic coffee machine. That means obviously it will automatically make you a black coffee, but you just froth your own milk with the steam wand. Now when you first put the machine together, the first thing you need to do obviously is what we've done here, and that's fill up the water tank with nice fresh filtered water. It does come with a filter, it's your choice whether you put the filter in the water tank or not, but if you leave it out, well, it gives you more space in the water tank, but be sure to use filtered water in there. So that's the water tank on that side. Obviously, here's the steam wand on top of it. As we move up the machine, right on the top, that's where our ceramic grinder is, and you'll notice that the lid that comes off is sealed to keep the beans nice and fresh, and it's also UV treated, so to keep the light and the air away from the coffee beans. And that's something we're going to need so we can make our first cup of coffee. Fresh coffee beans, I'm using Coffee Secrets obviously because they make the freshest and best tasting coffee beans. So we top those up in there. Inside the grinder area itself, right here is where you can adjust the grind. So if you'd like it ground a little bit more coarsely or finely, you tend to adjust that depending on the blend of coffee bean you've put in there, and if you're not getting a good crema, you'd make it a little bit finer for that particular blend. Over here is the opening where you would pop your pre-ground coffee, which is very handy for people who want to try, say, a decaf at night time. You can put already ground coffee in there, and the machine comes with a scoop that's the right size for that. Obviously on the front, there are two buttons on the left-hand side that are our coffee sizes. That can be a small cup, and a large cup if you prefer it to be. That's the way they will come pre-programmed from the factory and you can program these to be any size of cup you like and we'll do that in just one second. And to change the strength of your cup of coffee, round here on the right hand side, this is the button here that we use. When we press this button, you'll see on the screen the little coffee bean symbols light up. So now it's gone to three, which is the strongest coffee. The next push shows me the little spoon that's when you can use the pre-ground coffee that goes in the slot on the top near the grinder. That's the setting you'd choose for that. Then when you press the button again, it goes back to a wheat coffee. Press it, it goes to a standard coffee, a strong coffee, back to the spoon. So it goes in a cycle, so you can always easily find how strong you'd like your cup of coffee to be. Down here at the front is where the coffee itself comes out. So this is obviously adjustable. So. For shorter espresso cups, you don't want the coffee to splash and ruin your crema, you can get it down closer to the cup or further away if you're putting a large mug underneath. And down the very bottom, obviously the drip tray. You'll notice there's a little bit of water in here at the moment where the machine first turned itself on. That will need emptied periodically as you're using the machine. Let's make our first coffee on the machine and this is the only programming you should ever have to do once you get the machine home. So obviously we'll put our glass underneath, bring down this piece here so we can get the coffee nice and close to the glass. We choose one of these two buttons to program and depending on how strong you'd like the coffee, let's say a medium coffee. We'll use the top button and to program the machine for how long your coffee shot is going to be, we just push our finger on the button and leave it in. It takes a couple of seconds before anything happens. We'll hear the grinder going. And because that little cup is flashing on the front, that means it's going to program how much is going into the cup. So once it's ground the coffee, tamped it inside and it starts flowing out, then we'll stop the button when there's enough in the cup. Very, very simple process to program these. And you can program two different coffee sizes. Just a matter of watching the coffee going into the cup and when there's enough for the shot we stop it and that's it programmed forever. Now every time I push that button I will get that amount of coffee until I decide to change the programming. 